Oh, please die. Please die before we die. Oh my God, no. What is going on guys, it is Pender here, and today we are back playing more of Fjorder. But before I get into what we're doing in this video, please make sure to leave a like down below. It really does help out the channel, you guys, and I appreciate it so much. If you missed last episode, you missed a lot, man. We had uh, a lot of pretty good luck, honestly. We finally, some of our bad luck finally reversed and turned around, and we are finally on a good end. Uh, seems like we got luck, lay luck with us tonight. So uh, hopefully that luck should can continue today because we got a few more things planned. Um, mainly because we got some of these eggs right here. We got some of these eggies. So we went back to the Wyvern Trench. We started hitting up our Wyvern Trench with an over after strategy that was working pretty good. And uh, we ended up walking away with one 185 egg, two 185 eggs, and let's see, and this one, and a 180. So we have three really good wire, uh, fire wyvern eggs to try and hatch. And uh, honestly, we don't need three fire wyverns, but I'm, uh, I'm guessing that at least one or maybe two, God, hopefully not, three of these rolls will be really bad. So we're going to see. We're going to try and hatch these out today and uh, see what we get. And then uh, we're probably going to go and kill a bunch of things because we need to get our level up at least four more levels um, for an upcoming video that we have going on. We need to be higher level. So, uh, but before we do that, um, whoo, excuse me. But before we go over and do that, I want to go over and check out the loot case because we've been having some tremendously good luck uh, getting stuff out of the cave drop. So I want to start checking those at least kind of regularly and at least until like, our hot streak dies down because honestly, you guys, our luck over there has been just insane. So yeah, I do want to do that. But before we just head out to go and conquer that, we have 46 levels on this Maywing and I keep meaning to like spend them with you guys, but I keep forgetting as well. So I think mainly we're just going to get its health up to at least 5,000 so that it can take a couple shots and be able to get the hell out of dodge. Great. Um, it's really not a fighting animal, honestly. But uh, still, we'll give it a little bit of melee, like 350-ish, if we can make it that far. Right on. And then, so now we got a whole bunch of stuff. So maybe weight, maybe? Honestly, weight's probably the move. Get the 800 weight. That's awesome. All right. So now I'm going to head over to the loot cave, and everything should be good. I'm getting much better with the Maywing, too, by the way, guys. That's, I'm, I really was at, like, I had a fear of, of being really bad with the Maywing, but I'm steadily, steadily getting better. Uh... <laughs> I, it sounds weird. Like, how could you be bad with a Maywing? Just trust me. I used to be really, really bad at it. But now, I'm kind of decent at it. We're doing okay. So, anyway, I'm going to go over to the loot caves. Um, I don't know if we'll do both of them. For sure, the Aberration Cave. I don't know. I'll, I'll think about it on the way over. But uh, I'm going to head over that way, and then I'll bring you guys back. Okay, so we've rolled up to the Aberration Cave. And at this point, I kind of feel like we are um, a little bit of masters at how to clear this sucker. So... Hopefully it's good. Last time we were here, we killed a uh, the crab, a whole bunch of spinos, and in an effort to see if we can get a good crab spawn. So let's just see. Hopefully one did spawn, and, and we're not just getting hosed that way. But I'm really hoping that we find some good stuff in here. Let's see. So the first drop is going to be, of course, in the middle of all these spinos. Anaprolovia. I don't like that at all. Uh, we should probably check these big guys. Level 20, perfect. And what level are you, sir? That's a, whoo, that's a 145 over there. Oh, my God. And then, uh, of course, there's all kinds of baddies here and there. Did we get a crab spawn, though? Doesn't look like we did. All right. Well, we got to find a way to get all of the uh, evilness out of here. Can we? We can. <laughs> I love that you can pick up Marthoplura. Okay. Also, is this a Megalosaur right here? It is. Oh, my God. Okay. Let's just see what we can do. We do a whole crap ton of damage to this thing. Holy cow. We got... Oh, that was a 150 Aberrant Megalosaurus. I don't... Oh. <laughs> I'm going to be sick to my stomach. All right. Let's kill this Arthropleura. Oh, my God. I can't believe I just killed that. That would have been awesome to have. All right. Let's kill this. Oh, my God. This is going to be a high level... <laughs> 150 or 145 Aberrant Arthropleura, too. It's tragic all right kill this spino we know this is a weakling and then we have a perlovia which i'd rather just not fight so maybe we can just get it to walk this way a little more come on do your darn perlovia thing and get over here so we can grab our first drop it's so smart okay can we pick this up 
No, we can't. Okay. Listen, man, just please don't knock me off the mount. Oh, honestly. Or we'll just like three shot you. It's fine. Okay. First drop. This is this is where we had some big money before, even on the yellows. Okay, what is that? A parasaur platform saddle. Honestly, kind of good. And a fabricated pistol. So definitely not the kind of god tier loot that we've had earlier. Also, sorry, let me gam up a little bit. That was probably really dark for you guys, and I apologize. Um Yeah, not the kind of god tier loot that we we've had the last couple times, but still not bad also we should probably go ahead and drop all of this meat here there we go all right and then this side usually spawns a red drop Let's see but it also spawns like a thousand ravagers as well so yep there's the red drop and here are all the ravagers <sighs> all right here we go all right one more one more ravager here I'm really starting to become an expert at killing these ravagers, honestly, you guys. Oh, oh my god. Every time we come in here and see like four or five 150 ravagers every single time. So I don't feel too bad about that one. What do we got in here? Okay, uh, journeyman Aquanodon saddle. And what is this? An apprentice Alexor? Weird. I, would, I feel like out of that yellow one, we get some really good stuff. Way more often than we get good stuff out of the red one. So, uh, honestly, a little bit underwhelming of a... Uh, a loot cave today. Maybe we'll go try the other other one real quick. Should we? I feel like I might. I feel like we might speed run that. Let's see. All right. So we've arrived at the actual loot cave here. And I feel like we are definitely, if not masters at the aberration cave. This one we are definitely masters of. So we're going to go through this sucker and see. Okay. Okay. Stay go. Jesus. Uh, we're going to see exactly how fast we can clear this thing out. I'm feeling... I'm feeling pretty good about this. I feel like we should be able to speed run this pretty quickly. Let's give it a, uh, let's get the, get a little gamma up here. I am going to try and do this without having to fight any bats and see if we can do that. Um, all right. It doesn't look like we got any yellow or reds from the first glance. We got a bunch of yellows, which isn't bad. We have one bat here. No, uh, spiders. No, nothing, nothing real. Okay. That's great. So just bat. Oh, there's a spider right there. Lame. Let's go down here and clear out this area of all its riffraff. Like so. I just oh sorry, Dung Beetle. You're getting the you're getting the work this time around, buddy. <laughs> so I grab it all this stuff and pulling it off the edge. Come on. Like so and like so. I still can't believe you can pick up Arthropleura. Weird. Like this, and then like this. Nice. Good. Run back up here. See what's going on with this shenanigans. Alright, I don't see. A couple spiders. There are a couple spiders here. Let me grab whatever that is. A scorpion. Crow. Oh, my God. Did we get webbed? Why are we so slow? We totally got webbed. All right. We're going to drop this one. We're going to fly over to this side. <laughs> it's really not bad. Like, once you go and get rid of the ground clutter, it's pretty easy to come over here and grab the things. I say that. But there's a whole bunch of stuff that's probably going to eat us here. Can I just grab it? Can I just grab it and go? Just... Okay. Ow. No, 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 no. Come back down, Echo. Oh, I can't see anything. I'm getting torn apart. <laughs> okay. First one down. I didn't even get to see what it was. Doesn't matter. We're just going to try and be as quick as we can here. Much faster. Land, please. Like so and like so. Get this. Uh, transfer. That was a Pteranodon saddle. Journeyman Pteranodon saddle blueprint. Okay. We got web, so that sucks. That's going to slow us down a little bit. Definitely not our most effective speed run of this cave. What are we going to get? Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This is the big one. Let's see. Something huge. Come on, open it. We got <laughs> Journeyman Chitin Boots. So definitely not the best loot day, but I guess it had to uh, slow down at some point, right? Honestly, um, I'm not sure what the first one had. I'll check once we are out of the out of the, the shenanigans. Okay. I still hear a lot of shenanigans behind me. All right. We'll deload the cave and uh, let's see what we got. So it was two saddles. It was this one. Okay, a Master Crab Megatherium saddle honestly isn't that bad. And then what else? We got that one from... We got that one. This one? Oh, no. A Ram Shackle Theomia saddle is what we walked out with? Okay, well, honestly, that's not terrible. But uh, not exactly what you want to find out of <laughs> out of your loot truck, I guess. I had to slow down at some point, but I don't know. We're still going to do it every now and then. So, yeah, we are now in uh, Hatch the Wyverns mode, which means we have a little bit of work to do because... Of course, this is Ark, and you can never just do exactly what you want to do instantly. There's always a build-up to it. So, I'm going to go back to base, drop off all these things, and then uh, we will start the initi uh, 
whoops, the initial step of hatching some wyverns. So here we go. Alrighty, so we are over here. Oh my god, we need to hurry up and do this like now. Uh, come on, let me just get Oreo. Boom. Okay, we're out of here. <laughs> uh, jeez, really? The, I would just land it for like a second, man. You don't gotta just do basketless things out of the ground. Uh, anyway, we are over here at the wyvern trench, and our next step is not to get eggs, but to try and knock out a uh, female wyvern and you know. <laughs> Swindle it of its wyvern milk so that we can grow our own baby wyverns and hopefully not have a problem. Let's see. Hopefully we get a low level one so we can make this nice and easy. What level are you? And are you a ma'am? You are not a ma'am, but you are low level. That's kind of lame. Uh, okay. So this is obviously easier said than done. And if we can avoid pissing all of them off, that's obviously a better option. We got a second wyvern over here. Please be a ma'am. Please be a ma'am. We need, we need young ma'ams. Uh, you are... All right, you were actually perfect for this. So I don't think we're going to need too many of these guys, hopefully. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> right as I said that, I, I don't think we're going to need too many of these guys. I think maybe two. Two to hatch out. At least the 185s. I don't know if we'll hatch the 180 today. Um, so we should be able to do that. Let me just get you like that. And then uh, we can go in here and hopefully safely secure that that Philonosaur is... Aimbotting me! Oh my god! What level is it? This is, oh my god, it's a 145 Velodosaur! That's a 145! I gotta stop looking at things. I gotta stop. Okay, there is... There are shenanigans afoot. How are we gonna actually go about doing this? There's a blue thorny dragon over there. Uh... Huh. Okay, so I want... We want to net the female one, and we want to probably kill the male one. And the male one is the darker of the two. Oh, it's... Here we go. Here we go. Perfect. This is perfect. I need to stop trying to fight the Kentros and stuff and just come over here so I can just do this. Bop. Boom. Okay. Nice. Let. No. No. His her boyfriend is here. Okay. Whatever. We're going to have to kill him. Come here. Come here. You didn't have to be this way, but you did. So now it's just problematic all around. Come here. <laughs> At least we learned that bats are like formidable opponents against these stupid wyverns. Come on. You initiated this. It didn't have to be this way. I just need some milk, man. It's got to borrow some milk. Why are you taking so many shots? Okay, we actually... I'm getting a little worried now. We're actually getting really low on health. Oh, my God. Okay. I actually do need to do a much better job of avoiding... Avoiding hits. Holy cow. Please, come over here and die. Oh, my God. Oh, I just got to avoid the breath. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh-oh. I'm getting really nervous now. Because the other one's going to wake up and it's going to be bad. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. Okay, we might just need to move. We might just need to get the hell out of Dodge at this rate. <laughs> Good. Okay. All right. Let me regain my stamina at least. And then we'll go back in there and try this again. Is she awake? Oh, my God. Just give us a break, sir. He's not even bloody. All right. I got that one. That's good. Okay. Let me reload this. I got the mail out of the way, so hopefully this goes better this time. That hit, I totally whiffed that shot. It's so hard to do in first person off the back of this bat. Did I hit it that time? I did not. Okay, we got one more shot at this. We got one more shot at this. Bam! Okay, that one hit. Perfect. Now we just gotta land. Please land. We're good. Okay. Are we good? Everything fine? Oh! Everything's not fine! Oh my god. Please just leave us alone! Oh, we're gonna have to go back and make more nets. Come on, die. Okay. Okay, we gotta land. We gotta do this, like, right now. Right now, right now. Land! Okay. It's not a high level. We should just be able to knock it out. There's a snake coming. I don't like that. Reload the damn gun! Echo, just handle this for me. Okay, come on. Come on. I gotta be able to see it when we knock it out. Oh, okay. It stood up. It stood right up. I don't like that. We're standing on the business end of a wyvern right now. Hopefully Echo does fine with that. That Titan Boa. <laughs> okay, come on. How many more of these do you want? You feeling sleepy? Oh, okay, it's out. Perfect. Oh, my God. And then we got the Wyvern Milk. Okay. All right, we don't have any more nets, so we might... Oh, my God, it's still alive. It's still alive. Oh, okay, Echo, just... You honestly... You're letting me down, bro. <laughs> Kill this freaking snake. Nice. Scorpion. Die as well. Good. 
Okay, Echo, kill this thing before it gets out or wakes up or whatever. No? You refuse? Echo, listen, buddy. <laughs> You've been getting real moody the last couple episodes, all right? Listen, when we gotta get stuff done, you just gotta come in here and do it, okay? We need the we need the talon. Perfect. All right, so that is finally done. We got a little bit of wyvern milk. That's a 185 wyvern, so we're gonna try and keep that here. Absolutely, we are. <sighs> All right, well, uh, it's not a lot of milk, but it might, it's definitely gonna get us at least one half. No way. Why? Who did this? Why? <laughs> I was gonna say, it's definitely gonna get us at least one wyvern to tame. Um, maybe, maybe not both. We'll see. We'll see how far we can stretch it. Honestly, though, like, what are you doing? Okay. All right. Can you, like, can... <laughs> what is going on here? Just come here. God. And then we're just going to have to snipe Echo, who's just problematic always. Echo, please. Echo, please. Echo, please. I am fumbling all the keys. Okay. Ugh. There we go. God. No. Okay. Well. <sighs> It's just one of those days. All right. So after all of that hassle, we are now able to start hatching eggs. So I guess the most logical step here would be to just start hatching the 185s. And if we have to, if we do get two terrible rolls, I guess we could actually go after trying to hatch the 180. Um, but for now, I kind of want to save that one because there's like, listen, there's no actual reason that we need three fire wyverns at this very moment in time. So honestly, yeah, yeah. That seems, that seems fair to me. Can I just have, there we go. Um, even if this first one is awesome, we might not even have to hatch the second one, to be perfectly honest with you guys, but we'll see what happens. Come here, let me light you guys all up. Um, I don't know. We may have to do a, a, another milk run at some point during this. I don't know if we're gonna have nearly enough for both of them, but we can try. So let's hatch this one first. Or is it warm enough? Too cold. Damn. All right, uh, let me make some more torches. <laughs> all right, so I had to add at least six more torches. I don't know. I don't know if it only needed one or all six, but I added six more torches, and this thing is incubating. And uh, we are going to get our wyvern right now. Let's see. What do we got? What are we working with here? Let's see what you're doing. Let me just go ahead and we'll put you in a ball so we can see it. It's a male. Cool. All right, what is this young wyvern? What did he turn out to have? So, uh... <laughs> No, no way. 37 points into oxygen and 37 points into food. Oh, no. That's so bad. 24 to health, 24 into melee. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, <laughs> That's honestly probably what we, uh, we really wanted to avoid that one. So hopefully the next 185 egg is a little better than that. Um, if not, you know, we won't complain. <laughs> That's so goofy. All right, let's hatch. I knew it. I knew that we were going to get a high oxygen roll on at least one of them. Two coal. Okay, no, it's not. It's good. Uh, I can't. I just, I just can't believe. I cannot believe that it got both 37 on food and oxygen. Pretty much all the stats you wanted didn't get. <laughs> at least it looks cool, though. Oh my god, look how washed out the torches make us look. Uh, well, anyway, we got the second one hatching here in nine seconds. First one was a bit of a dud. Hopefully this one's not also a dud. There are, it, the noise it makes, the absolute noise it makes just being around all of these torches is intense. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. There's another male wyvern. Let's see, it's right here. This one got, oh no. It got even more oxygen. Then the last one did. Oh no! <laughs> That's intense. That's actually intense. 45 oxygen. Oh man. And then it got two more melee. All right, looks like we're hatching the 180. We're hatching the 180. We have to. That's got to be done. We got to see. We got to see what the future holds for us. Oh my god, really? All right, you start incubating that. Let me run over here. Let's grab this one. Let's just see what's going on. Can I compare them side by side? Okay, so 37 oxygen, 45. 24 health, 24 health. 31 stamina, 34 stamina. 32 food, 37 food. 31 weight, 23 weight. 20. So the, honestly, 
The second one we hatched is technically going to do us at least a little better. It's got better stamina and melee. Um, it's got it's got worse weight by a lot. Same health, but it's uh. <laughs> I guess in case we ever get super tricked, we'll be able to maybe wake it up. I don't know. 45 points into oxygen. Why? Like, why is that even allowed? That's like, that's almost painful. Oh, my God. All right. One more. Let's see what we got. <laughs> All right. This one's going to hatch in like eight seconds. Come on, little 180. Oh, no. You're the You're the 80. Are you the 85? You are the 85. Wait. Time out. Wait. Hold on. We don't want to hatch you. Oh, that's the 180. I don't know what's going on with my life anymore. I'm just so confused. All right, let's hatch. <laughs> what is going on? Don't just be great, right? Okay, boom. That one is also male. We had three males. Let's see. Are you the 180? No, no, it's this one. Okay, so yes, look at that. It got 41 points in the melee. Oh my God, 28 health. Absolutely okay. This is absolutely the one right here that we are going to raise up to maturity. We're going to imprint this one. This one is way better. The only thing, yeah, this one's got, like, way more stamina. But honestly, if we do end up by ever hatching a female one, we'll be able to breed that, which is great. Uh, wow. That's, uh... <laughs> the 185s were duds, but the 180 is, uh, fantastic, right? That's just, whatever. What are you going to do, Ark? We're so weird sometimes. All right, well, now all I have left to do is we need to... Oh, it looks kind of cool, too. You're not going to be able to tell because it's nighttime, but he looks he looks kind of neat. Uh, anyway, so I'm going to give you all the milk. Uh, I'll, honestly, I'll raise these two up and imprint them as well, and they'll probably just go as uh, backups for us in case we ever lose this guy. But honestly, at least one of the three turned out really good. That's That was really, really good. We're, I'm, I'm glad with that. I'm happy with that, so... I'm going to go and imprint them. Actually, I'm just going to stuff you guys in here for now. And if we ever do need to raise you up, we can. Uh, and it, yeah, so I'm going to raise them up. I'm going to imprint them. Hopefully, it doesn't take me too long and it's not too bad. Uh, that five milk will definitely work for at least one wyvern. So <sighs> I guess it all works out, don't it? <laughs> BRBs. You know what? I actually forgot that we can actually feed babies a uh, sanguine elixir, and it'll actually spike up their, I think, imprinting by 30%, which is huge. I have saved a lot of blood packs just because they're in this one. Uh, just because if we're going to have that many, we might as well be saving them, you know? You know what I mean? I feel like, I don't know. If we're going to have them, we might as well have them, at least for this point. Let's see if we can make, I think it's 200, right? Yeah. Maybe one of those. You can honestly you'll hold those ones. Awesome. So I think... I think this is how this works. I, I, I've been dropping the ball a little bit lately on taming these. I probably should use it on the overwrapper too. I keep forgetting that we have these things. It's new. And so, boom. Okay. So, that should have gotten, yeah, 30% imprinting done. That's awesome. That's, <laughs> that's really cool. It's really convenient. Anyway, so, I've got six minutes until the first imprint on this guy. And then I think we'll probably have to do a couple more, even with the Sanguine Elixir. But, yeah, it should be good. I'm going to let him raise up. And then, uh, and then... We'll take him out for a test drive, but yeah, I forgot that we had the sanguine elixir. I had to use it. All right, so a couple of walks and a cuddle later, and we have ourselves our brand new wyvern. He's ready to go here, and I, dude, I am really stoked to finally have one of these guys here. We do have some milk. Uh, I probably cannot use that right now, but I came out with 7,295 health with 100% imprinting. It's got 329.3 melee, which is awesome, and then all the rest of the stuff doesn't really matter. So... Now it is time for us to reclaim the Ark, man. Now that we have something that is going to do a whole lot of damage besides our Thylas, I think we're going to do some killing of some stuff, man. We got to go try him out. Obviously, uh, if you have a good name for a Fire Wyvern and you can see what he looks like, he's kind of a dark with a, uh, a light orange tint to him. Leave it down below. You never know. We might use it. I'm going to, I think there's a rune down here by the tree bridge up this way. Um, somewhere that I keep meaning to grab and I keep forgetting about. But I think we can grab it. Yeah, right here. Aha! I remembered. Please grab it. Nice. Okay. Boom. So that'll give us a good jump on uh, levels here for the Wyvern. Oh, my God. I am so freaking happy that at least one of our eggs turned out good. And this was actually really good. Like, the 41 melee. I don't mind that at all. That's actually super decent. So now it's had a me alpha megalodon right there. It has to be. It's so red. Um... Well, we won't be fighting that, <laughs> but maybe we can find an Alpha Rex or two. 
They used to be all over the place. So let's see. Let's see if we can find one. I would, okay. Oh, you know what? I forgot that this uh this little beach over here had two gigas on it right now instead of instead of the Alpha Rex. Well, I, I they're pretty much like super common, so I'm feeling fairly confident we'll find them. Let's see if we can find any any sort of alpha. Usually up and around this castle, they're just kind of all over the place. Of course, with my luck, there are probably not a single alpha up here today. Let's see. Let's just see. I think they gotta be over here, man. Come on. You've been spawning like hotcakes this whole time. Don't tell me that there's no alphas over here now. All right, I see an alpha raptor. Should we dip our toe? Should we toe dip and see what we can do to this alpha raptor? I'm kind of down with it. I'm ready. Let's see. I'm just going to land. This one is a gimp. Has no idea. It's like running into a tree. Insufficient stamina. Well, we can just bite at it. Look at this. You can't even get to us. We're doing 470 damage a bite. Okay, well, I probably also should have checked what level you were. But uh, this is just this is gonna have to work. This is gonna have to work. Oh yeah, we're already destroying this thing. 55 Alpha Raptor like it was nothing. Because it was nothing. Give me this. Give me, I need the runes probably at the bottom, right? Yep. I'm going, oh my God, we got 30 levels. Okay. Honestly, 10K health is a must at this point. We don't have anything with that much health. Melee damage is already outrageous, but I'll make it more outrageous. Give it like 500, yeah. And then stamina, let's get it stamina up to like a thousand so we can actually do some breath attacks. That was wild. That was a wild amount of levels. Don't forget, we're trying to get to level 89 for a future video that I have planned. Uh, you ARC veterans that know, you know, what you unlock at level 89 will have a, a good idea as to what's coming there. Uh, anyway, so let's see. We should have some more alphas in and about the area. We absolutely just devastated that raptor. Come on. Is that an Ovis? That is totally an Ovis. Am I going to be upset when I see it? Let's see. Let me see it. Okay, 15. No, that's fine. That one can that one can exist. We do need some higher level Ovis so we can go after the Fjordhawk. So keep your eyes peeled. There really isn't a single alpha out right now. Like, what? All right. I finally found another alpha creature. They seemingly are not over here as much. It's level 50 Carno, which is fine. We should absolutely destroy this thing's face as well. Let's go ahead and see what our fire breath does. But it seems, oh my God, 170 a tick? We're doing 523 a bite? Oh my God, is it even worth breathing fire on him when I hit this hard? Holy cow. Uh, anyway, yeah, so I don't know. Did they turn down the alpha spawns? They finally realized like, whoa, actually, we shouldn't be happy to fight six raptors and three cardos at the same time. Dude, we are devastating this car now. We need to be a little bit careful because you can't put a saddle on a wyvern, which means they don't get armor. But oh my god, we just destroyed. We got a Mastercraft hatchet. 170.5 on damage on for you. And ooh, actually, our journeyman one is better in terms of damage was what we want it for. But still cool. I'm actually going to grab all that stuff because eventually we'll get a grinder and that is easy material. So oh no, also another 10 levels here. So stamina it up. Let's get into a thousand. Perfect. And then I guess... Let's just milk movement or uh, melee damage for as much as it's worth. We also personally got a level, which is great. We now need three more. We're nearly there, guys. But without having just alphas literally everywhere, this might be a little bit harder to do. Uh, actually, really surprising. It's really weird flying around this map and not just, it just having being like saturated with alphas. So let me know. Did they change the alpha spawns finally? Or is this like... We're just not getting very many spawns today for some reason. So, I don't know. I, one or the other is happening. <laughs> All right, you guys. So, I found an Alpha T-Rex. It's level 85. I'm feeling like we have pretty good chances at killing this thing. So, I actually, we should land and get our stamina back before we engage in a fight with it. But, I kind of feel like we can take it, man. And as long as we watch exactly where our stamina is, we at least have the option to fly the hell out of here. So... I think we're going to go for it. I'm not really sure what's happening in terms of all the aloes and stuff in there. But still, we got 6,500 health. I definitely feel like this should be doable. Let me also, let's just drop all of this stuff in preparation here. All right. Here we go. We got our stamina. Let's just do it. That, actually, this is perfect. The pack of aloes is running away. We can now pick a fight with them on our own. We do 558 damage per bite. Oh my god, that is wild. Holy cow. 
Is it already bloody? I can't tell. Are you bloody? No, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe we're not actually. Oh, no, it is. It is bloody. I see some flecks of blood on this side of it. Holy cow. All right. I need to do a much better job of monitoring our stamina and um, our health. Okay. Uh, honestly, stamina is getting really low. So is health. I'm going to just, I'm going to try and stick it out. I'm going to try and stick it out, you guys. We can do this. We can win this fight. I know we can. It's so bloody. Uh-oh. Okay, this is maybe a bad idea. We might lose our only good wyvern here in a second. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh oh please die. Please die before we die. Oh, my God. No. 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 Oh, no. This is actually terrible. Oh, my God. By the skin of our teeth. Oh, that's 100 health. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, give me this stuff, and we need to get it out of here immediately before the aloes show up. It has 100 health. Oh, my God. Oh, I really thought we were going to lose this guy for sure. Oh, my God. Okay, just sit in there for a second while I try to think about... Oh, my God. How close that got. Oh, my God. Um... That was way, way too close. I don't have the bat with me. That means we're just going to take Bloom, I guess. Holy cow. Get me someplace safe and away. That was... That, <laughs> that was way, way, way too close, man. I did not like that. That gave me a knot in my stomach. Let's get someplace where we can safely heal him up. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my heart. <laughs> I was really starting to think like this is the end and we just totally wasted our only good wyvern. There are so many tech rexes around, by the way. I don't know what I just whistled. Um, 114 male tech rex right there. Holy cow. All right. Well, level 85 alpha T-rexes maybe aren't to be messed with. Whoo. Literally. <laughs> that was almost our limit right there. Oh my God. I was feeling so good for like... 80% of that fight and then right there at the end. I just got so nervous. How is he doing? It's got it should heal up a little bit in the okay It is it's at 200 health now. That's a little better. That's a, like a little bit of breathing room, but still not a <laughs> Not something I really wanted to mess with so I think I'm gonna sit here and uh, Try and heal him up best we can for a little while and then we'll pick some more fights with alphas later all right, guys, so I have finally located another alpha. There's a 135 Karno over here in the northern area of the meadows, and uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to absolutely just decimate this thing. Uh, I have been roaming around looking and just pretty much killing all that is walking around, and it's kind of outrageous. Like, I've been killing a whole lot of tech creatures trying to collect as many electronics as I can, and let me just tell you, this wyvern is a powerhouse, man. It's going to be absolutely ridiculous. Watch this. Ready? This is outrageous. 650 damage a shot, and it's got enough knockback that this Cardo's not even going to be able to get to us. The, the, the fire does 200 a ping, and then the additional 75 with odd fire. It's just... I don't know. It's wild. This thing is wild. It feels really good to have a powerhouse creature again, let me tell you. Like, I was once afraid of these hills, but now I'm just anxious to kill everything. And the sad thing is, is the alphas seem really hard to find, which tells me that they've uh, turned down the spawn rates finally on it. Oh my god, we just destroyed that thing. Uh, did we get anything good out of it? Not really. Um, let's see. Yeah, nothing crazy. Let's just drop the meat. We got a couple levels, though, which is good. I'll take that. Uh, I'm just going to try and get them to 600 melee. And we'll just see. 605.5. So we'll just see exactly what that does. We have a level. So we need one more. So we are on our way. One more level, and we'll be good to go. But with this uh, sudden lack of alphas in the area... It might end up being easier said than done. Also, I've been just flying around grabbing random runes that I see. Um, and even that has been slowing us down a little bit. So, <laughs> it's going to be interesting. We're almost there. One level to go. All right. I have finally found our last victim of the day. It is an Alpha T-Rex indeed. We got another one over here to spawn. But it's only level 15. Um, I'm pretty sure that we could get there if we just literally the next thing we kill probably gets us to level 89. So 
Do we need to kill this? Absolutely not. Are we going to do it anyway? Of course we are. Like, why <laughs> Why wouldn't we at this point? Um, I have two levels on this wyvern. I'm really starting to think that 605.5 melee may be just a tad bit overkill. I'm not, you know, <laughs> there's not a whole lot that can stand up to us at this point. So um, I'm thinking maybe we'll just do some more stamina. That seems like a good idea to me. And uh, yeah, so let's just go right in here and just fight it. Let's just screw it, man. We'll just see what happens. I can't imagine like we are going to. Honestly, I, don't, I already know. We all know this wyvern is going to absolutely decimate it. And it's not even going to be close, Al. Let's see. Let's see how long it takes us to kill this thing. We killed, what, an 85 by the skin of our teeth? And we are way... Like, we're hitting it for 630 a bite. Here, have some more fire, by the way. Which does 204 a tick. Oh, my God. I still feel like the damage per second is way, way, way higher by just biting like this. But who knows? It could be better. There we go. Last breath of oh, freaking fire on him. Oh, yeah. You are so bloody already. Come on. Give it to me. Give me the kill. I'm ready to be level 89. Let's go. Alpha T-Rex, get out of here. What did we get? What do you think? Did we get anything good out of this? Let's see. We got some teeth. And we are overburdened, I guess. And some hide boots. Yay. Exactly what I want to get out of an Alpha T-Rex. Okay, but that should at least... Yeah, definitely. Here we go. So we definitely are going to hit 89. What the hell are we going to pump now? We have a lot of weight. We have a good bit of health. Um, we got good fortitude. We don't need a whole lot of movement speed. It's PvE. So I don't I don't know, man. Um, fortitude on this map probably doesn't hurt much. So I'll screw it. I'll just... I'll add it. I, whenever we go to Jotunheim, I'm sure that'll come in handy. But that is probably going to do it, man. We have reared... The freaking most ridiculous wyvern ever. The fact that it has so much bait. Like, we are hitting for so freaking much, man. It is actually ridiculous. So, yeah. We got some good stuff done. It feels good to actually have an Apex Predator again, honestly. It really sucked. This is... Okay. These are my two leading uh, diagnoses of what's going on with the Alphas. One, the uh, devs decided that there was way too many Alphas and they got rid of them. Or two, and what seems to probably be the way more likely scenario, is they knew I was coming. They knew I was bringing the wyvern, and they all went and hid. They decided not to come out today, because they knew Fender's coming out on his big mans. And he's killing everything in his, <laughs> in his path. Oh my god, yeah. It's, it feels kind of bad that as soon as we get the Apex Predator, they clearly have decided to turn the spawn rates down, but... What are you going to do, man? What are you going to do? But we got a lot of cool stuff coming up, man. Honestly, I've really got some big plans on how we're going to be able to go about breeding bats. And we're just about to the point where I think we can start making that kind of start to happen. So, yeah. A lot of big things are coming our way. So, stay tuned. And if you like the video, please make sure to leave a like. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. I'm out. Peace.